Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, June the 21st, and this is my Equipace Winter Circle major track report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park in Elmont, New York first for their ninth race on the card today. It's the co-feature, 5.16 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Floral Park Heatherton Stakes. It's a eight and a half furlong root test on the dirt. Phillies and mares three years old and up racing for a stakes purse of $65,000. Contenders number five, Coco Beach. Number six, Wyatt's Women. Number four, Winning Point, and number five, Striking Tom Suey. Number five, Coco Beach, a Chilean bred entry, takes a big class drop of 20 units today as both the speed and pace profile are in this field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her last five, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Ramon Dominguez has been in her her irons on four previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning three times en route to a positive 101% return on investment in the process. Dominguez is back today for his fifth ride, gunning for his Grand Slam win. Race 9 summary, number 5, Coco Beach, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 6, Wyatt's Women, number 4, Winning uh, Point, and number three striking Tom Tommy Sue. That's five six one three in the ninth today from Belmont Park, the sixty five thousand dollar Floral Park Heather and Stakes. Off to Kentucky's Churchill Downs next for a race nine on their card, four fifty nine PM Eastern Post time. This is a eight and a half furlong route test on the turf course, three year olds and up race for an optional claiming purse of fifty five thousand three hundred dollars. Contenders number one, Desert Wheat, number five, Broad River, number four, Arctic Cry, and number nine, Faith Magic. Number one, Desert Wheat takes a class drop of two units today, has posted power run place finishes in each of his last three outings. Number five, Broad River, has been a power run performer in each of his last three starts, including a power run win his last time out. Race number nine summary, number one, Desert Wheat tops my contenders list, which also includes number five, Broad River, number four, Arctic Cry, and number eight, Faith's Magic, 1548 in the ninth today from Churchill Downs. Finally out west we go next to Southern California's Hollywood Park for the race one opener today, 12.30 p.m. Pacific Post time. This is a eight and a half furlong route test on Hollywood's cushion track, Naden's special weight entries racing for a purse of $48,000. Contenders number seven, Party Hard, number one, DC Tappet, number six, the usual QT, and number two, Blazing Spirit, make my list. Number seven, Party Hard is the Overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, comes off back-to-back -back power on board hits in his last three starts. Number one, DC Tappet has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two outings, mi missing his diploma in his last race by less than a length in a determined attempt to break his maiden. Race one summary, number seven, Party Hard tops my contenders list, which also includes number one, DC Tappet, number six, the usual QT, and number two, Blazing Spirit, 7162 in the first today from Hollywood Park. I have a couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Charlestown first, race four. Entry number seven, CV Slew, an eight to one shot, drops in class by seven track master units. It's a nice overall speed for today's four and one half furlong sprint. And the race in Virginia, Colonial Downs today as well. Race number two, the four to one shot. Number six, Nui Deschamps, a slightly better speed for this five furlong sprint than the favorite, number four, impossible to. So on a Sunday afternoon, handicapping from Belmont Park, Churchill Downs, and Hollywood Park, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.